What's going on guys? Joe Munoz, One Step Prep Academy and OneStepPrep.com, home of your favorite typewriting center. Did you just get hired at American or at United or maybe Delta or maybe Alaska or maybe Avalo or any other 737 operator out there? I'm going to share with you folks, if you're one of these that are thinking, is your courseware going to help me, Joe? Are the videos at OneStepPrep.com appropriate or should I just wait for my carrier to give me everything that I need? Well, what I'm going to share with you is they'll give you the tools. Uh, but the reality of it is, is what I'm going to give you is a chainsaw to cut down the tree, not the butter knife. I'm going to give you the chainsaw. And so, yes, very much. If you're going to go fly a 737 or an A320, doesn't matter where you're going to fly it. What I'm going to share with you in the online courseware and here is universal because the mode control panel, whether you're at Delta or American is the mode control panel and the master flight director is the master flight director. And in the case of the Airbus, normal law is normal law, brother and sister. So with that being said, let's talk about the master flight director. What is it? Who is the master? Why is it relevant? Why do you care about anything that I'm sharing with you here? Well, the master flight director is on the MCP, it's short for mode control panel. And if you fly the Airbus, FCU or the flight control unit. Same thing, potato, potato, brother, sister. Here's the master over here. You notice there's a green MA, okay, that's illuminated, and that light comes on when we put the flight director on. There's two flight director switches, one on the captain side, one on the first officer side. The master flight director is whoever turned on their flight director first. And that assumes the autopilot's off. Typically, we put the flight directors on as part of our pre-flight flight deck setup at the gate and whoever's going to be the pilot flying for the day will turn on their flight director first to ensure they become the master. But the reality of it is, is that that master flight director will remain the master flight director as long as we don't engage the opposite autopilot because the flight director is also slaved to the active autopilot. So for example, if the captain turns on his or her master flight director first, the flight director button comes on first, right? But then we come over here, we slide across the mode control panel and we turn on command B. Now typically you wouldn't do that Usually you're going to use the side that you're on, so Captain Command A, FO Command B. But let's say the captain decided to put Command B because he was feeling big or she was feeling like nice and big with the four stripes. So they want to put Command B on, okay? So they put on B and all of a sudden the flight director switches to the first officer's side, the master flight director. Now why do we care, Joe? Who cares if it's the master on the left side or the right side, okay? So here's the reason that it's relevant, and that's because there's a little button here in the center that's called Vorlock, right over here, as well as the approach mode push button, but really ground-based navigation push buttons, VOR localizer and approach. The Vorlock push button is gonna obviously track either a VOR or a localizer, and what VOR or localizer will it track? It depends on the master flight director because we have two navigation radios, number one and number two. The number one radio is tied to the number one or the captain's flight director, the number two radio tied to the first officer. So if I have a VOR that I intend to track tuned into the number one navigation radio, which would be respective of the captain's flight director, and I push VOR lock, but I happen to have command B, which is the FO's side, now it's going to not look to the number one radio, but it will look to the number two radio and it'll track whatever happens to be there. So that's the relevance of understanding who is the master flight director. Now that's a very small little piece of information from the mode control panel because there's many buttons, many knobs, many digits there and many things that I can share with you and I do inside of our online ground school. Now by the way, if you're going to one of these carriers, you're going to a type rating center like ours here where we do type rating training and you get the videos anyways when you come do type ratings with us. But you want to get a type rating or you want to further your knowledge, the videos is a great place to start and the live sessions that we do. I've got one, I'll leave the link in comments here later on this month. Join me here on a live session to walk you through. Come on, Mr. Chicken, you can't fall off the desk like that, brother. Okay, folks, so I'll leave it here, all right, so that you can see uh, what these dates are for the live sessions. I'm telling you, Come and bring your questions. They're great because they're highly interactive. I wish you could see the studio set up here. I got a nice big screen in front of me where we pile in a bunch of students and we interact. It's a great time. A lot is learned and I have an a, um, amazing experience doing it here with you. So, y'all know the name, Juan and Joe, your friends in training program success. Come see us here in Miami, folks. OneStepPrep.com.